Hello families, Ms. Shannon here. Today we are going to read The Gingerbread Man. Some of you guys may have already heard this story, so maybe you can tell me what's going to happen before I read it. Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman owned a little old bakery. They bake cakes and pies and breads and muffins and popovers so light they almost floated. But what they loved to make most of all were gingerbread cookies. They made gingerbread boys and gingerbread girls, gingerbread rabbits and gingerbread squirrels, gingerbread cats and gingerbread dogs, gingerbread homes made of gingerbread logs. Can you see all of the gingerbread things that they make? There's a lot. I see the squirrel, the birds, the dog, the cat. I know, said the little old woman one day. Let's make a gingerbread man to put in our bakery window. That's a wonderful idea, said the little old man. They mixed up some flour, they mixed up some eggs, enough for a body, two arms and two legs. They rolled the dough flat with an old rolling pin and laid out the shapes on a big baking tin. Then they popped the cookie into the oven and waited. A wonderful aroma, a wonderful smell, filled the room. The little old woman and the little old man sniffed inside. They went, ah. <sighs> because it smelled so good. Suddenly, there was a rattling and a clattering. Let me out, let me out, cried a little odd voice from it inside the oven. Let me out now. The little old woman flung open the door and out popped what? What just came out of the oven? The gingerbread man. You're alive, said the little old woman. You can talk, said the little old man. Yes, said the gingerbread man, and I can run away from you. Goodbye, and he dashed out the door. He ran out the door. The little old woman and the little old man chased after him. Wait, come back. We baked you to put on our window. But the gingerbread man just laughed. He said, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And just watch me prove it, he yelled. The gingerbread man dashed down the middle of the street. He ran by a policeman and stuck out his tongue. That wasn't very nice. Hey, said the policeman, waving his nightstick. You can't insult the officer of the law. Then he smelled the wonderful gingerbread smell. So the policeman said, Mmm, something smells good. And the, and the police officer said, But you would make a wonderful snack. Uh-oh, I think the police officer wants to eat the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. And I'll run away from you too. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I can. Now there's three people chasing the gingerbread man. One, two, three. On the very edge of town, the gingerbread man passed a mangly dog eating out of a garbage can. And the gingerbread man kick that garbage can. Yow, yelled the dog, pulling his head out of the can. Now that was just mean. Then he sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. So the dog said, mmm, something smells good. The dog said, wait, you taste a lot better than the garbage I'm eating. The gingerbread man laughed and said, do you remember what he says? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the man of the law with a big stick in his hand. I'm the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. And the next part of my plan is to run, run far away from you too. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I can. So now there's four things chasing the gingerbread man. One, two, three, four. Do you think he finally got away or do you think he ran into someone else? Let's find out. Now the gingerbread man, gingerbread man ran out of town and down into a field where a horse, 
and a cow were grazing. They were eating the grass. He zoomed up to them and yanked their tails and ran away. Ouch, yelled the horse. Nasty creature, cried the cow. Then they sniffed that wonderful gingerbread smell. They said, Mmm, no, wait, come back. You'd ta be much more tastier than grass. But the gingerbread man laughed and ran away. And what did he say as he ran away? Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from the man of the law and the dog in the garbage can. I'm the fastest thing on gingerbread feet, and the next part of my plan is to run one as far away from you. Oh, yes, oh, yes, I can. How many people are chasing him now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people are chasing the gingerbread man. Do you think he's done? Do you think he made it? He's safe? Let's see. Suddenly, the gingerbread man came to a wide, wide river. He stopped. He knew water and cookies don't mix. Why don't water and cookies mix? Can we think about it? Have you guys ever had cookies and milk? What happens if you leave your cookie in the milk for too long? Does it stay nice, does it stay nice and hard, or does it crumble because it's too wet? It crumbles. A voice said, you look worried. The gingerbread man looked up. A fox stood smiling at him. I am worried, said the gingerbread man. You see, I ran away from a little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from a man of the law and a dog in the garbage can. I ran away from a very mad horse and I ran away from a silly old cow. I've run too far and I've run too fast to let them catch me now. How many people were chasing the gingerbread man? One, two, three, four, five, six. We still have six. Is the fox going to chase the gingerbread man? Or do you think he's going to help the gingerbread man? Let's see. Climb on my back, said the fox, stepping into the river. I will carry you across. Oh, no, you don't, said the gingerbread man. Jumping back, you just want to eat me too. I don't even like cookies, said the fox. Just climb on my tail. It's far away from my mouth as you can get. All right, said the gingerbread man. That seems safe. And he hopped onto the fox's tail. Do you think trusting the fox was a smart idea? Or do you think that the fox is trying to trick the gingerbread man? Let's keep reading. The fox moved into the river. After a time, he grunted. You know, my tail is getting very tired. Do you mind moving to my back? No problem, said the gingerbread man. Halfway across the river, the water got deeper and deeper. You know, said the fox, I think you'd be much more safer on my shoulders. You might be right, said the gingerbread man, and he moved again. Uh-oh. He started out at his tail, which was really far away from his mouth, and now he's on the fox's shoulder, which is really close to the fox's mouth. Now they were in the deepest part of the river. Even my shoulders may not be high enough, said the fox. Then I'll get on your head, said the gingerbread man, and he climbed onto the fox's ears. If you look at the fox's face, what do you think he's thinking? Is he thinking... We're almost across this river, and then the gingerbread man can get away? Or is he thinking, yes, this is exactly where I want the gingerbread man, right here, so I can eat him? What do you think that face is telling you? Uh-oh. Finally, they reached the far side of the river. Ha, said the gingerbread man. I told them they'd never catch me. Thank you, mister. Oh, what happened? Flip. The fox tossed his head back. Snap. He caught the gingerbread man in his jaws and crunch. That was the end of the gingerbread man. The fox sat under a tree, licking the crumbs from his lips. He was the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. It's a shame I ruined his plan, but that, I'm afraid, is what happens 
to every tasty gingerbread man. So the fox did trick the gingerbread man. Thank you.